Good morning guys, welcome back or to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be picking up some parts for the 300. So if you hear the the bulldozer tracks, that's them up there on the corner. You got dozer, they got an excavator cleaning that off. But anyway, we're gonna be picking up some parts for the 300 going to Oklahoma to get them so we're gonna be getting well we'll just y'all see here in a bit <clears throat> but I was gonna take 6-0 but the 6-0 is hooked up to the trailer I don't really want to unhook it so we're gonna take the blue truck uh, I think it's two hours and 45 minutes or something like that one way so I'm gonna run out here unlock the shop or lock the shop and we're gonna head up there so i guess i'll catch y'all in a bit when we get on the road and get up there but <coughs> this morning we hauled off the uh, red car so it's gone the white car is behind the tractor the black car's over here working on cleaning up so we're on that I want to get 300 done. I want to get that thing done. Get it gone. And I think that's it. Oh, oh yeah. The uh, parts Jeep still haven't hauled it off. Um, we're going to work on that today, but. My grandpa has some online training stuff for work that he's working on, so couldn't do that. But anyway, I'm gonna do some stuff real quick. Then we're gonna hop in the blue truck, head to Oklahoma, pick that stuff up. Uh, probably won't get it installed today, but thought I would bring y'all along for the ride. So I guess. Uh, yeah, I'll give y'all an update here in a bit when we get up there. Alright guys, so we're here in Oklahoma. I just picked up some side skirts and got both fender pieces. Here's the other one. Um, picked up some headlights that are supposed to be on them. They're not, but it's what it is. For the price of everything, it's cheaper than I found the side skirts um, locally. So they got some them little chrome skins on them but we can fill the holes in from them but we're gonna head back to Greenbrier and uh, I guess I'll catch y'all back at the house all right guys so it's now 10 o'clock <laughs> We stopped and ate on the way home, but we have the headlights in here. Um, now, like I was saying, I think I mentioned it. These headlights are aftermarket as well, so not really OEM. As you can see there, just regular bulbs. Um, no ballast on the bottom, so didn't really gain much there. I'm going to put these in the car and see if the... Um, the projector cutoff has the bleed by issue that the ones in the car are having. So we'll do that sometime. But anyway, guys, it's late. So I'll catch you in the morning and we'll take a better look at everything. Alrighty, guys. So 
it is the next morning. Um, haven't unloaded anything. Just, just come out here. I'm gonna finish up this video for y'all. <clears throat> like I said, we're not gonna get everything installed today. So, have the trailer. Want to load up the parts jeep on the trailer, haul it off. I'm gonna do some diagnosing on the light truck. Uh, run a couple tests on it, see if we can figure out what its deal is. But anyway, let's take a look at our new side skirts. So <clears throat> these do have both pieces. So we have here. This is the fender piece. So, gonna have to fix that up. But and these do have some screw holes in them from the chrome skins. We can fix that up. Um, what we'll have to do here is grind this out. Probably throw some panel bond on it, sand it, body fill it, and uh, smooth it out. But anyway, <coughs> here's the fender piece is still on this one. It's cracked too. So. But here they are. So you see they got screws that hold them in. The little skins. I think there's one on each end, and then the rest they just kind of stick on there. So, yeah, I got some like double-sided tape back there, but <coughs> I wish the guy would have gave me the hardware. Whatever it is, what it is. Um, but yeah, <coughs> I bought these in the headlights for 60 bucks. So, can't really complain too, too much. Uh, these are better condition than what I found here in Arkansas for more money. So, uh, what other people were asking were way worse than these. And they were asking, you know, 100, 150 bucks. So, <coughs> it is what it is, you know. But this one here, uh, the skin's peeled up down there, but screw hole here. Um, like a little joint here, but down here on the other end, let me flip this over. So, skin's all bent, and then the would attach here is that other piece so i'm gonna be removing the skins i don't like chrome um you know my personal preference but i don't like chrome uh, i'm gonna fix that up there and it's got some cracks in it you know all along but we'll uh we'll see what we can do with these so i'm not gonna miss a chunk there but you shouldn't be able to see most of this. Um, I just don't want cracked up stuff on my car. So we're going to be fixing all that. Um, get that looking right. But it may, I mean, even though, again, you're probably never going to see that because it's going to be under the car. But, you know, I know it's there. So... That is what it is. The headlights. <clears throat> so, y'all know, I've been dealing with issues with those. So I figured, hey, this guy's advertising a 300C. He's got some C headlights, right? So, here these are. Um, they got some, I don't even know what that is. But <clears throat> Anyway, these headlights are the exact same thing as what's in the car. You can see there. No ballasts, 
just the halogen style lights. So I'm gonna say this car is not a real C car. And somebody somewhere put a C front end on it. So these are not gonna work. Um, at least we're going back to the OEM. And I'll run over here and grab the other one. We'll take a look at it. Um, like I was saying last night, we might put these in the car and um, see what they look like. As far as like the actual output, because on the car, those headlights are, uh, the light is bleeding through the cutoff on the projector. Most of you probably don't know what that means, but you have a projector headlight and you have a line kind of like that. Um, that's your cutoff line. Those projectors, the light is bleeding through the cutoff and there's light up above it. So it's not very concentrated. And with that, they're not very bright at all. It kind of throws light everywhere. So maybe these will be different. And if so, I can pull these apart, put these projectors in my painted housings. <clears throat> it's not very difficult to pull the projectors out. Got some screws down in there. You can pop the projector out. It's not a big deal. So we might we might do that. I'll probably stick these headlights in the car and uh, see how they do. But if not, I'll probably just put these on Facebook Marketplace. Try to sell them for like 60 bucks or something. And pay for the whole deal. So anyway. That's what we got. Um, you know, it's not as it's not as good as I was thinking when we made the drive all the way up there, but it is what it is. At least now we have side skirts that we can fix and put on the car. Um, I think that's the last piece that we need before we can start body work. So we're gonna have to fix these. We're gonna have to fix the front bumper, but. At least we have parts that we can fix, if you know what I mean. So that's that. Um, yeah, I think that I think that is the last part that we need before paint. So, and also, I want to try to find the um, little strip that goes on the door. That peeled off on this one. <coughs> I'd like to try to find one of those put on it. Right here. So, gotta do some more body work on this door. Gotta do some body work there. You can't see it, but that is actually like an indention in the fender. Uh, but other than that, these fenders are pretty good. Um, it's got a little dent right there. Let's see what else. Paint's peeling on this one, but it's good. So this door is good. What we're gonna do, I've kind of made the executive decision here. Since this rear bumper has some, uh, some weirdness going on, that hole right there, we got some deforming there and there. We got another hole. That's not really a hole, it's a crack down there. And then a little crack right there. So, what we're gonna do, since the paint is very nice on this car, it's got some scratches and, you know, some stuff. Like a little ding right there. Just some little scratches in it. You know, it's a black car. It's a 15 year old black car. So, <clears throat> what we're gonna do, we're gonna fix the bumper. We're gonna paint those spots, blend out 
onto the bumper itself um, and then clear the whole bumper. And then this door, we're gonna fix this door to about here, which is all the damage. There's no damage on, you know, from like right there back. So we're going to fix here. We're gonna blend onto this door. We're gonna blend on to the driver door. That way we don't have to paint the roof, the hoop here the quarter or the rear doors or the deck lid so i think that's i think that's the plan so we're going to paint the front bumper the fenders the hood <clears throat> blend onto the doors we'll blend a little further onto this one to cover up our repair there and then we'll spot paint and blend the rear bumper clear those parts not going to mess with the rear doors the quarters this hoop here or the roof and i think it still should look fine um, then we'll probably buff the rest of the car and hit it with some touch-up paint um, stuff like let's see right here it's a good example right there a little scratch We'll probably hit that with some touch-up paint. Wet sand that out right here. And then uh, buff it. So it's not a big deal back here. We'll probably hit that with some uh, paintless dent repair. And we should be good to go. But <clears throat> one more thing. We are going to paint the hinge here. I think we're going to try to paint the crash bar jam the fenders in the hood and then maybe do the uh core support the radiator support piece so that's uh gonna be about it now, as far as the chrome on the car i thought about wrapping the chrome that way if i ever sell it i can return it to uh, you know the factory 300c chrome so Thought about wrapping it. I think I want to keep the car. Um, at least for a little while. So. <clears throat> Have a nice little build on it. Have some fun with it. You know? We need a strut. I think. For the passenger side. Um, because that's where the wreck was. I think it's bent or something. So, been pricing struts and coilovers. Might do coilovers, might not. I don't really want to lower the car because of the way our driveways and stuff are around here. And uh, Greenbrier, all the driveways are about a three to four inch little like curb that you gotta jump over. And I don't want to risk ripping the front bumper off of this car uh, after everything's painted. And I'd like to do a, a splitter and all that kind of stuff. So I think we're going to leave it stock height for now. Later on down the road, we might lower it. We might not. But just a bunch of different stuff looking at doing. So like I said, we're not going to get to install this stuff today. Because for one... I gotta go get hardware. I don't even know how these attach. So, I have to figure that out. But, probably drop these off at the shop here in a minute. And then, hopefully here pretty quick, we'll get them, uh, get them installed. Get them all fixed up before we get them installed. Uh, so, I'm gonna have to get clips. He didn't give me no clips, no screws or any of that. So, we'll have to go get all that stuff. But we'll get it all figured out. So, anyway, guys, that's going to be a wrap for today's video. Sorry we're not doing anything. Um, got a bunch of other stuff going. So, thought I would make this video, give you all an update on the 300. Because that's, I want to get the car done, start driving it. Uh, winter's coming up, it's getting cooler every day. So, 
We need to, uh, we need to get it painted before it gets cold. <clears throat> That's why I went to Oklahoma to get those. Um, Cause I didn't want to wait and look and look and look. So, anyway guys, that's gonna be a wrap for today's video. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please drop a like and comment down below. Smash that subscribe button. Thanks for watching guys. Hope everybody has a great day and I will catch y'all on the next one.